Okay, so picking up where we just left off a few minutes ago, this is a continuation. Now I've filled in the rest of the notes on the pentatonic up and down the fingerboard using both the stack and the rectangle. A minute ago, remember we were just using just the stack, two step, uh, two fret patterns, whole step. Now this one, although there's, you know, rectangles in there, like from here to here, this one adds in the whole, the whole thing. And as you can see, you've got five, your five patterns extended on out a little farther. So let's see what that sounds like if we try to connect the dots a little bit, starting down here. We'll play up one pattern. That's just this, this pattern right here. We're calling this one three, because if you're playing a four string, it starts on the three of the scale. I automatically just kind of like think of it as the extension of the one pattern because all these patterns are just connected patterns, you know, these two patterns connected. That's that one. Now here's the next position, right here. See that right there? Here's the next position. Within that is our other position. It's in there, okay? Just more than one way of thinking about it. So here's this position, six. All right, back down. And then here's our next position. Here's our next position. Whoops, make, uh, I missed that one. All right, there's that position. Which contains our original stack in the middle. Extends it on either side, okay? If if playing a five string, then here's your next position, which is a repeat of the first position we talked about. You can call it three, or you can call it one. Right there, and so forth and so forth. So on this one, same as this one. Fret you got. This this bass has 22 frets. All right. So what I'm going to try to do now is show you a little exercise. <clears throat> starting from the lowest and going to the highest I'm going to do it nice and slow and we're going to go up one and then move to the next one and come down let's see if I can do this all right
not going to go to that last one. Now coming down, what I want to do is instead of shifting from, I went up and back down, instead of shifting from here, I want to, I want to do it the opposite of the way I did coming down. So I'm going to go back up. Back to where I started, and then I'm going to start my shift down. note I missed. I will try it again. If I wanted to go on... I probably would not play this in position unless there was a particular passage that I had to play, you know. That's just not comfortable. But it is in there. Try it again, nice and slow. It's harder to play slow. Stay here and work back up. And now I'm going to shift so that before when I was in this next position right here, I came up. So now I want to go down. So I'm going to play each position the opposite of the way I did going up. That's a really good exercise to do, and then you can uh, move it around to other keys. Um, there, you know, I could go uh, to F. so forth and so on. Hey, I'm not saying I can do it. I'm saying you need to put in the time and the effort you to do it, and I will too. 
I'd have to end a part two of this lesson.